So guys, uh, just in conclusion, so because uh, the video did not, uh, I did not really uh, write anything on it. Uh, here is the results. With coils installed and without coils. So, uh, look, ask me to, uh, to do the test, same test uh, with and without coils installed. Uh, because maybe uh, there is uh, some uh, uh, results will be changed because of the coils or the cores with the magnets and he was right uh, and uh, as you see the results at 360 rpm which is uh, one of the resonance uh, speed uh, with a special uh, uh, not special but with a value of 60 microfarad I get uh, 86 with coils and cores uh, are installed, the four coils. At 500, it requires 72 watt from the motor to run without load, 684. Now, if we go without the coils, it's a bit uh, far results when it's at load speed. At low speed, at 360, it's really different. So without it, it's only 55 watt. And uh, as you see here, with the coils, it requires 86. At 500, however, it's closer to my results, which look, he was saying that in a comment before my test, so he <laughs> predicted that. So a higher speed, it bring it to uh, uh, closer results to mine. With or without core, it's within the 70 uh, watts. So 500 is ideal to do these kind of tests. At 600, it's 78. Again, it's not... Uh, it's not a big deal. The highest the speed, uh, the the, be the better. So 84 compared to uh, 78, six watt. But yes, it's uh, the the highest speed is the better. And uh, then I will uh, remain the in gain. Uh, the the gain will stay there. Uh, hopefully, by putting more coils. Um, the, the the gain will be uh, higher and higher, and the speed will uh, get rid of the uh, the core resistance, and that's what I noticed. the The highest the speed you will see uh, the the in the video is getting rid of the uh, reluctance of the uh, the uh, between the core and the magnet. And again, uh, I want to thank uh, Luke for uh, this uh, good note. And uh, here we go, guys. It's uh, positive again. So uh, we, we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> Don't get disappointed. And as you notice, uh, it's a bit weird. At uh, high speed, the input power required by the motor is less. 360 was requiring 80, 86, and at 485 or 500, it's requiring 72 or 73. Yeah, so that's uh, kind of strange. Now uh, we're gonna go on 600, we might as well and see if it's gonna reduce again. So we got some measurement at uh, 360, 485, and 600. Let's go back to 485 just to check again.
see what happened now. <laughs> it's kind of weird. The load uh, change uh, as soon as it goes to uh, to a lower speed. <laughs> okay, noted. Now we're gonna take off these coils and try the same test again. Okay, guys. So now I removed all the coils. Now there's no uh, coils around it, and we're gonna do the same test at the same speeds, the three speeds that we've tested before. So let's do that. I'm gonna go with the 360 and 485 and 600. And check the power, the input power of, for the required for the motor, for the prime mover. I need 55 instead of 85 so 30 watt less and four eighty five. So the cores were was eating this uh, the, the resistance of the cores with the magnet it was doing that so look was right and this is uh, 66 instead of it was 72 I believe so this is closer results so the the highest speed the closest to my results and then we went to 500 and then 600 okay 500 yeah 67 60 68 60 now to 600 So look was right. Thank you for this good comments. And uh, now my gain uh, is not really a gain. It's just compensating whatever is taken from the coil and taken from the, uh, the resistance of the coil to the so the lens is still there. Until, uh, until we get rid of the lens or at least cancel it. That's the story. Thank you.